Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This has been a long time coming. Something I've been wanting to do for a little while now. But I think if you are going to do something outside of training, don't make it something that's going to add in additional pressure or stress. And I think YouTube can very easily do that. So I had to be really careful and strategic in terms of what type of content I was putting up and why. So I've decided to more so document my journey, more for the legacy, something that I can look back on, hopefully with pride and see how far I've come. So there's going to be lots of vlogs. I'll be sharing, um, you know, pretty unscripted, uh, raw, unedited content. Um, I'll take you through some of my trades and day to day routines. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy the content. It's been a really tough day today. It's been uh, tough to even pick up the camera and make this first video, but it was something I said I was going to do. So I wanted to follow through with that. Woke up with a killer migraine this morning. So routine is completely out of whack. Haven't been able to do half the things which I wanted to do. And those that do trade know how important, you know, routine and making sure you've got good clarity and focus coming into the markets. Uh, that did result in a missed trade, so going to keep it real straight off the bat. Um, I had a pending order set, but I was a little slow to react to um, the entry model that presented itself. So it didn't tag me in, but I think 0 0.3 pips uh, should have been in the trade. But there we go, that's life. Um, I have had a, a good week overall in the markets, just one trade. It's now Friday, um, which resulted in a 1.8 win. So hopefully we'll have time in this video. Um, later on, I'll take you through that trade recap and miss trade from today. There is a lot of news today, so I'm not going to cry about it. You know, I'm reluctant to trade in or around news, especially um, for those out there that trade, you know, funded capital. It's a, a big no-no for most um, prop firms as it violates the uh, trading rules. OK, uh, let's have a look at the trades and then I'm going to get outside. It has been a really nice day today and it's starting to cloud over. So just conscious that I'm going to get absolutely pissed on if I uh, <laughs> if I don't get out. Also, I may go stir crazy if I stay in and look at the charts anymore today. But yeah, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy the content. Subscribe if you want to follow along. And yeah, let's take a look at the charts. All right, so Euro USD I know is a fan favorite and a good reason for it. I think PA throughout January and February has been really clean on this pair and there's been a lot of opportunities for me and, and my style anyway that have presented itself. So I'll talk you through the mistrade from today. I'm going to take you through it reasonably quickly as I want to try and get out before it gets dark and uh, the clouds are now very black. Um, but I was looking to trade continuations. So order flow on the daily we can see here is, is bearish. And once we'd had a full body candle close below the structural low here, I was happy to then look for those decisionals on those lower time frames um, for shorts. We can see on the one hour as well, it's really clear where that momentum did come into the market and break those structural lows. And then I was looking for more of a corrective pullback here. The last leg we saw that Kind of upside momentum but we then got a nice reaction and market shift on the lower time frame there was even an entry i think last night at 11 o'clock but that's for me outside of my trading hours and i know we can then see that more corrective pa in asia and then just get swept um in the london session with some of those false moves so i left it last night looked again today to see maybe if we could get a sweep or a remitigation so we can see here we swept this high, we remitigated this order block. So then I'm happy to hunt for that market shift and that entry on the lower time frame, if that makes sense. So looking at the three minute, I won't take you through all of the confluences, um, but we can see here we did get that reaction, sweep of liquidity and that market shift. Would have liked for it to be a, a little bit cleaner with some more inducement build, but I was happy to set the entry because this trade was taken or would have been taken on an FTMO challenge. So I knew news was coming in later during the day, which can sometimes fuel the move. Now that is not sound advice, especially if you're on a live account, because that will um, violate the trading rules for most prop firms. But 
if you do get that pause in price and you end up getting tagged in and it goes against you, you can also get a lot of slippage. Um, FDMO is really good for slippage, so it probably won't you know, violate the daily uh, or breach the daily limit or anything like that, but it's for the most part not worth it. So that combined with you know waking up without that focus and that clarity with the migraine, I actually removed the order anyway. So it was a mistrade, and it wasn't at the same time. There's some nuances there, um, but you're yeah, happy to not be in the market today and do something different and put out this video and, and talk to you guys. Um, on this occasion, though, it would have played out um, targeting those previous session lows for 3.58. As I say, I will journal it as a mistrade because it fit my plan outside of the news. Um, and now I'll focus on other things today. There's going to be a lot of opportunity coming into next week. So I'll talk a little bit about that, um, hopefully on the run or on the walk um, and get some other thoughts off my chest in terms of what I'm looking to kind of work on moving into the rest of February. It's like the Blair Witch out here. <laughs> Managed to make it out for a walk. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I don't actually have a, uh, a selfie stick. I'm just recording on my phone. Yeah, it's quite nice. Lots of squirrels and wildlife and fresh air. So nice to clear my head and uh, get some steps in. I think I've done a thousand steps today and I just haven't been that active this week at all. Probably done about 2000 for the week. <laughs> so yeah, next week you'll see me hopefully get back into some more positive routines, health and well-being wise. Um, and uh, I said earlier, you know, it's important to have clarity and focus coming into the markets. Part of that is just looking after yourself. You can probably tell I'm looking and feeling a bit run down today. So, yeah, I think this uh, it's a good opportunity as well when you do manage to get outside to, you know, think about what you care about and think about the things that you want to do and things you want to achieve and not have those distractions and be able to just turn on the TV or play some PlayStation or get caught up doing chores or whatever it is so yeah i think i'll wrap up the video here and uh you know hopefully see you next week for a nice positive week in the markets and yes yeah, stay safe everyone stay blessed and i'll see you soon thanks for watching